What we're going to start with before I get going, transformer. If I ever, everybody come over here and see this little uh, handle right here, CSP. It's a self contained primary fuse. Other ones have like a switch that's on top. Some of them have a little unit on the side that'd be a conventional. That's a CSP with the handle on the side. That is a switch that would mount the pull top switch for whoever writes those up. It's going to be a switch just like that. All our switches have arrestors on them. Every house and every transformer has a 10,000 volt lightning arrestor on top of it to feed every house. So you won't, we don't have it on their display, but that's what that is. That switch will mount either on the on these arms or it'll be a will be a switch. There'll be a unit with a mount on the pole top, and it all has a lightning arrestor. Um, OCR, all circuit recloser, breaker. Goes by size, three operations. We have capacitors. They're not up here. You've heard of them. They look identical, but they're a lot shorter. I'll tell you the difference. Or Randy will. Switch. It's got a jack. You know, there's different things we call it. You know, usually just a switch and a jack. Regular transformer, same as that one right down there. This is a conventional. There's no handle on it for CSP. That right there is just a regular, regular jack without the lightning arrestor on it. When you have that lightning arrestor on there. Like I said, it bleeds off over anything over 10,000 volts and we're running 7,200. So surges and stuff like that, every house, we blow that. As you can see, this is all ACSR. That's a conductor you all hear about. It's aluminum, or steel core aluminum, it's aluminum wrap. So aluminum, aluminum conductor steel reinforced. That's ACSR. Straight copper, we don't have a copper on that. These right here are Cochin bells. Everybody sees those. We got porcelain bells for when you're it in and you write it up. Those are poxy. These are shoes. These the ACSR. That's neutral, that's the primary. Then we got hotline clamps. That's a standoff. Then we got the bugs. Everything's bug. We bug everything. That's a bug. Um, back here, there's a limited bug on the back side. Just for to make the crimson connection. Hotline clamps, jumpers. You always write up something about a jumper. I'll transport the jumper. Um, eye bolts go through the poles. Um, grounding grid, it's called bug. That's a slang. It's a 507, 506, whatever. But they're bugs. We use shoes. We also use, we don't have any quick sleeves. These are the ground. We're going to stick these on and show them how we. Why don't we do that for we got them right Good question, Gary. Yep. Member calls in, so they heard a loud explosion or bang at my transformer. Is that what they're hearing over here? The no. fuse blowing? No. What? Yes and no. They hear a loud explosion. We'll show you the arc or the buzz or the hum or the, the bark. We've got all kinds of slang. But if they heard a loud explosion, that barrel, that fuse, and we're going to do that here in about five minutes, you're going to hear that barrel blow. It can be sound like a shotgun. They're going to hear an arc, most people will. Something got into the, they can get the secondary, the bird, coon, or anything. And so mainly it's the, the fuse itself that's blown. You're going to hear this thing, but it won't blow. This will be a shotgun. We'll try and scare you. Randy put on the ground. You ever hear we ground it? Mm -hmm. Line's grounded. If it ain't that, it ain't dead. Okay? It's a ground. You put them on, that's what you work with, period. That's going from hot. your neutral to your primary, right? Exactly. Sometimes you can't get to neutral, so you go to pole ground. It's grounded. If it's not grounded, it's not dead. Bag you know, tells you, always use gloves, always wear gloves, and the other one just ain't grounded, it ain't dead. So we put them grounds on there. Um, we'll get started in this. Is there any other questions on the one we have? You know the poles? Transformer. CSP's got the handle. It's a self-contained primary. Yeah. This is single phase, one phase, three phase. How many wires are there for a three phase service? Almost. We can use two phases or all three phases. It can be two phases and be an open bank, <coughs> open Y, open delta. We can get three phase service out of two phases going down the road. And then also with the cross arm, we got three phases and serve a three phase bank. Power banks, delta, all of them. We're not doing the underground, but. We can do all of them. So what Randy and Keith's going to show it. This is Hoosiers. It's real nice. First thing he's just going to show you some marking. 
This is your house. When Kitty puts the button, always watch that. Pay attention to the line. My lights are blinking. Yeah, no kidding. Something's on the line. You see that? Nothing operated. Director operate? Nope. Why? Because what that is, it hadn't had enough fault through to make that thing see a problem. It sees load. You're having problems back here. He's just shorting that out. That's that arc or hum or buzz or fuzz or bark in the hear. So he's going to What we're going to do now, party balloons, mylar balloons. Just watch your light. Let me put that on there. Before we get started, before anybody does anything, before you touch that, is that hot up here or not? Okay, fuse is out. You're right. Is that hot? That's hot. That is? How do you know? You don't. That's what I'm getting. I don't mean to make fun of nobody. You don't know. Keith doesn't have the, the we know the dead man switch. <laughs> <laughs> it's hit a blue. It's not dead until it's ground. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know it's hot until we check the protection. We don't know it's hot. We have no idea. Everything was in, but we know we got a dead man switch. All that is is a question. I ain't trying to make fun of nobody, but you know it's not dead until it's grounded. And we have no way to know it's dead unless we check the protection. And then ground. Okay? Now he's gonna whenever them guys are ready. Mylar balloon. Switch is open. Visible opening. Here we got the switch open. Everybody's heard that. Switch is open. All right. Here's a balloon came floating through. House just lit up. Carrying three primary amps, eating up three houses. The balloon's melting. Mylar balloons. Factory's in service. Everybody lets their balloons go. Knocks factory out. Balloons knock it out. It gets up in three phase. Anything can happen. Birds sit on that line, long sag. She goes down. They fly off. Like that. Like that. Now, I'm gonna fry a hot dog, and I, we're gonna have you touch it. This is primary voltage. You know why we use a hot dog? Because your skin and my body and everybody else is mostly water. The meat made up in a hot dog. Takes it. About like we are. They're gonna fry it. And we're going to touch it. Don't let it, you know, it won't burn you. It'll be just as cold as he took, took it off. Here, reach there and touch it, seriously. It ain't going to burn you. It's cold. cold. Where? It cooks you from the inside. Your body, that's why you hear on TV where people go, Oh, I got burned, I'm fine, three hours later in the emergency room, and they think they're going to die. They cooked every organ, mm -hmm. okay? That's what happened. You cooked that hot dog. That's, that's where that's going. Now, before he cooked that, the switch is down. It's hot to there, but it's not there. It's all because that's what, but you can't tell. It's not, and this is totally, this is This is totally 7200. We're going to do a little switching now, and we're going to blow that fuse, and we're going to make that breaker operate. Breakers open by the problem that something's on line. You have two short curves and a long curve in the breaker. So it sees the problem and it operates. The switch has a long curve. So when that what, something goes down on that power line and the people's down here, the switch protects. Their lights go out and somebody down the road goes, my lights just blank. And you go, how can that blink if the fuse went out? Fuse is a long curve. Breaker is too short to long. It goes through the switch on the first action because the fuse is up here and the problem is here. Breaker sees it operate. Next time it cuts that whole fuse out, breaker doesn't operate. So when people go, my lights blinked and my neighbors are out. Exactly. Breaker is because it's a, more of a curve than a switch. Um, breakers operate three times. Too short and long. It resets every few seconds. And we'll do that here in just a minute. But the big thing about them, um, it can operate twice. Three minutes later, the wind's blowing, it operates twice more. Three minutes later, until finally that oil gets hot enough and it's just home for it. It's out. Capacitors, you all have heard of capacitors. They operate different. This operates on voltage. Capacitors work on amperage. So that operates when there's voltage on line and there's a problem that kicks out. 
The capacitor is sitting here. When the breaker opens, there's no voltage or amperage on the line, okay, correct? Then the capacitor goes like that, in and out, out and back in. Reason is it operates when there's no amperage on the line. So break is opposite. So what happens is that breaker will operate. So everybody pass the capacitor is going. <coughs> My lights are blinking. Everybody above by the breaker goes, so are mine. <coughs> so it's because that breaker opened, capacitor went dump, dump, breaker closes. Problem again. Open, dump, dump, breaker closes. Next time it opens, like the second time it opens, capacitor kicks out and out. Breaker holds. Capacitor is not supposed to be load pickup. These are. This dead blade we've got in here is not. But these are dead they're, they're load pickup pieces, what we use. So we switched over now. And you're going to load fuse. Or operate the breaker. Operate the breaker. This is what it sounds like. This is exactly. It's 7200. It's like Here's a tree limb gets on it. Tree limb. Anything. Right here. Here's your house. Randy's going to put. This is what you're going to hear. You don't get to go out with service banner on call, and you're here. Here, breaker operated once. Twice. Longer curve. Breaker dropped out. That's slang. You heard that curve. You heard the curve difference, right? Too short and long. There you go. That takes a few minutes because that oil is real hot in there right now. You know, it might not reset for a little bit. So it cools down. So we're going to wait on that. Yeah. Is there anything that they call a cutout? Do you have a cutout on here? That's a cutout. Cutout, switch. That's a jack. Slide door. Door fell out. We've got a solid blade door, jack, and that's a cutout. That's a switch. That's an M31SE with a rester. Everybody writes them. We always have an arrester on everything. Except power banks. Usually they're bound off the back. We just use straight switches. Um, other questions before we fry the squirrel and make some noise? <laughs> Hang on, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it. She clicked. Every time we change it, you got to hear that click. She kicked in, otherwise you're going to have it. The only reason we know that it's hot is he turned the house on. Watch that, pay attention, come on, boom, don't drop the top. A little loud. Now, nah. norm normally, the fuse will blow on the transformer when the squirrel gets into it. So it'll just knock that one person out. But just so that you can actually see what happens, that one right there in the middle with the red tape on is going to blow. It. Correct. We kind of altered a little, like Randy said. You can't see it over here. You can see it. It'll knock one person out. We really don't have dead blades except in a few places. Or solid jacks. And then we get it. We've only got so many fuses. And we're going to be doing this a bunch. And we don't want to smoke every one of them. Do. They'll blow both of them. What happens? It's safer because I'm much standing right there. Yeah. To buy it to get something. We got all this real protective. You know we don't. Turn around. Go right down. Right. You gotta be. They hear bang. There's bang. That's a one amp fuse with gunpowder. That sounds about like a 20. So when you're standing under a 50 in a 35 foot hole, your knees are usually buckled. And you know it's coming. That's the problem. I see the problem sitting in my road. No, that's the saving thing. There they are out the other driveway. Hey, right, right here. Right hey, right that thing fell out. <laughs> or that breaker when people tell me when I get out there, you know my life's been blinking, I'm tired of it, you know what I tell them? Yeah, it's wonderful. That thing's working just great. It's perfect. It's, it's operating correctly. That's what you want. Well, my life is like I said, I can put a fuse up. You don't worry about blanking lights. You'll be out another hour. We'll be out to put your lights on. So, the breaker's operating correctly. So, all we got here, he's taking hot line clamps off, putting them on a, a parking stand. I mean, we don't have the underground out here. You know, you got, we don't use these style lights. But these stems 120, that's neutral, that's neutral staff. That's a regular transform. It's a, a one and a half. These security lights, like a Patriot or, or Brooksburg, it's just for a security light. That right down there is probably a five or ten. If you hook the generator up, exactly what we did. All we did is have an inverter and batteries. We fed that transform backwards. Everybody says, "Oh, you got a step up or step down transformer." That's both. 
whoever's taking the heats, when it goes in, it cranks down 60 turns, takes it to 120. When it comes in the bottom, it cranks 120 up to 7200. It's just yeah. basic. That transfer doesn't care which way it comes in. So if somebody has the generator up wrong, they just did what we did. You can plug into a house, turn it on, lay your breaker on, and you feed the line until we ground it, and then we'll smoke your generator and smoke everything about it. It can only handle so much. It can light up the community until load picks up. That transformer put it back to 7,200. Now I don't know how long it lasts, but not very long. It's 5,000 watt generators. So I'm sure there's questions. We don't have shoes. We don't have swing clevises. We don't have a lot of stuff out here on this demonstration. Our tabletop's nice, but the Hoosiers, we've got this for a few days. He just closed the jack. We call it jack. Some call it doors. You know, that's a switch. That's a cutout. Um, any other, anything about the breakers? Uh, I mean, they can answer just as much as... Breakers, OCR, free closure. All the same thing. Okay? Just different slang for it. It's really an OCR. That's the proper name for it. Oil, oil, <coughs> excuse me. Oil circuit reclosure. You know, our, our little tabletop's not very much volume. That's, that was actually 7,200. Actually, right there. Closer you're ever going to get. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. You know, like Randy, just peeled him off. I'm sure his shirt's wet. He's been in there a few minutes. He changed it out to close off. Breakers, we have bypass switches. You hear us change the breakers out? We just did that yesterday. We put a switch in behind, close it in, take the breaker off line, still do it and everything. And then, then we take, reverse everything, put it back, and we'll lay down the surface. So when you put something on one side of the tub, do you actually open? Randy, show me. Or, you know, well, I know it doesn't blink three times, it's just one set of time. Correct. Right. Right. Okay, here's, here's how we put breakers on the one shot. One shot device. When, we go, one shot right there. when we go into the substation, now it's all digital push button. You've heard hotline tag. Right. We do hotline tag now because that's what's in the breaker and it's a toggle switch in the breaker. They don't have them because that's a triple, not a triple single, but a triple breaker and that's three of them handles all three phases. And the reason that we have individual breakers on the lines, uh, because it's all single phase, you have three phase breakers in the subs, because you're handling uh, NBIC, you don't want to lose a phase, you're going to lose a water pump, you know, you're going to lose something, they're going to single phase, you're going to burn stuff up, so we drop everything out. That's why you have to lose all three phases. You've got all these water companies, you're going to burn all the pumps up, you have to have it on three phase breaker, if you lose one, you're hurting. But we, we do down the line, we do a lot of single, single stuff, but in, in the, anymore they want us to go to hotline tag instead of sing, one shot in the stuff. We've all heard it. Why don't you get the line back to all the reclubs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you put it on one shot, there's not, I mean that's visible, but do you put a tag or something in there for anybody else? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, now, if Hoosiers here, they're going to tell you, we got hold tags, we got warning tags, we got this. 95% of trucks got hold tags. 95% of us use hold cards. I don't go put a a warning or a thought. I put a whole card. If you see a whole card, nobody does nothing until they check it out. And then if I, I you actually sign your name to it. You don't want to it. See, I, I put it on. I put it on. I go home, gone tonight. Randy, I'm off the next day. Randy comes back. Norman, he hadn't called me, but he had to call home. He has to get permission to remove that whole card to do work on there. Because I issued it. So you have to make sure to take the whole card off and call in. We have to take it off. If Randy shows up for the whole car, he can't do nothing. Larry down in the pipe, they put them on there. I can't do nothing on there. You can't until they release permission. Period. Otherwise, somebody ends up dead. Other questions? <coughs>